Jeremy Dutcher up top. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Holy smokes. Thank you very much. Man, oh man, five years work. First album, and mm -hmm. then you win this thing. Okay. That's yeah. pretty, it's really all pretty, <laughs> pretty good. It's all about intentionality, you know? Yes. You, uh, you set out to do something, and you really put your, your spirit in it, and it changes, you know? Did making this record change you, do you think? Of course. Yeah, you right? Know, I get up in the morning, and I put on a pair of shoes, and it changes me. So for me, yeah. this, 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 this record, yeah, this is uh, world-altering. Yeah. I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's brought forth so many people from from my community and outside of my community who believe in what this record is saying. Mm -hmm. Talking about linguistic revitalization, talking about the repatriation of of stolen material that is living in museums and needs to be given back. So it's all you put your truth out there and people receive it and respond. And that's what it's been, and that's what tonight is too. Yeah, it feels historic to me. I mean, it's the prize, it's $50,000, it's all that stuff. But I mean, I feel like this is like a real important I mean, historical mm. moment. I, I mean, mean, it's really something. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm careful to put too much on it. Yeah, yeah. But I will say, you look at the past four prize, prize winners of the Polaris Prize. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indigenous excellence. Yeah. And I mean what I said there on stage. Yeah, I know. We are in the midst of a renaissance and we're yeah, witnessing yeah. it right now. Oh, yeah. And so it's... You know, it's it might, you know, it feels it feels great to me, but 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 really, this is just building off of what has come before. People like Buffy Saint Marie, people like Tanya Tagak, people like Little Pimienta. Mm -hmm. um, these strong women led the way first. I'm just stepping into the space that they created, you know. Which I know is on your mind. It would be, you know, it's not necessarily the best time to talk about it yet. But I know going forward, you. Um well, a conversation for another time, but I know you're <laughs> thinking about strong women. They're always on my mind. Yeah. Honoring our matriarchs is very important, you yeah. know? So, let's talk turkey. Were, <laughs> you know, where, was your, where were your expectations with this? Like, did you think, I have a chance? Were you thinking, oh, there's no way? Were you thinking, no, you know what? I got this thing locked up. I Got in the door and I was surprised. Yeah. Wearing what I wore? <laughs> um, no, no, no. I, um, you're always cautious, you know? Yeah. You don't want to build up too much. It's happened before, you know, people were really confident that it was their year and then yeah, yeah. all of a sudden somebody comes in and, you know, it really just depends what happens in that jury room, you know? So yeah. I have no, for me, the work was done. For me, yep. I made the record, I made it with the intention that I wanted to put out in the world and it was received. And so for me, anything past that, you know. You know like the, we talked about before, it was already a success for you. Well, yeah, I guess it's, it, in terms of measuring success, it's, it's all about the analytics that you use. It's, 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 yeah. it's how you quantify that. And for me, it was about the ethos of this record and what I started in my speech with tonight was, Sudan, all of my people, this is for you. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, that is a direction that my work goes. Yeah. It goes from, from me to them. And so coming to understand that, that this record is being received in my community, people are singing these songs, actually. You know, it's doing the work that it was meant to do. Yeah. And for me, that, you know, it, nothing else matters, you know? So I'm guessing when you finished this record, there was, there was probably some celebration that happens. But I mean, now this, so how, what are you going to do? How are you going to celebrate? Yeah, well, I mean, like, uh, my, my parents are here, um, my elders here. here yeah. And um, so there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of things that need to be said, a lot of uh, exchanges that need to happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tonight was always about celebration. Win or lose, tonight was always about celebration because... Yeah, like you said, this is a five-year process. Yeah. This has been my life work. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to be celebrating today. But keeping in mind, I have to be up early tomorrow. Yeah. For interviews and... Uh, yeah, yeah, and, busy uh, day tomorrow. You're telling me. With, <laughs> with, with the, the, the gravity of, of this and just how big and important it all feels, this, this feels a little bit like a trite <laughs> question, but have you thought about the good. 50 Gs at all? Uh... Of course, I would be. Uh, 
I would be lying if I said I didn't. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Lido made a joke, you know? Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe not a joke. <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you gotta you gotta get equal. And then um, for me, what I'd like to see happen, um, I was down in, in, in Maine oh, yeah. um, earlier this summer. And uh, the, the Passamaquoddy Nation is just on the other side of Maine, and we're in New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. So we actually share a language. We're culturally very really similar. Um, and I got to go down to this uh, museum called the Abbey Museum. And mm -hmm. it's a wonderful cultural museum down there. And they have, you know, performances and workshops, and it's just amazing. We don't have anything like that in our territory. Mm. You know, yeah. a place where our culture can be appreciated and foreground and for, for, forefronted, I guess. Um, so I'm going to start building that. Mm -hmm. You know, start maybe take some of the money and, and, and start to gather the people that it's going to take to build something like that or to create something like that, where we can focus on us, you know, without, yeah. without everything else, you know, without, without funders or, or any of that noise, you know, yeah. really invest in us. Hmm. But also there's records to be made, there's videos to make, there's, sure. um, there's so much art that needs to come. There's so many stories that have yet to be told, uh, especially from our community yeah. that have not been told on our terms. Yeah. So we're shifting it. Yeah, and feel it. we're taking the means that are around us and we're telling our story on yeah. our own terms. Yeah, well, I mean, we're, we're celebrating this thing now. I can't wait to listen to this record again, but I'm already very excited to hear, uh, the, you know, the next batch of stories okay. and, and where this all goes next. Um, you know, you're, uh, you're an inspiration now to a lot of people with this record and this win tonight, who um, who inspires you? Who um, in this in this moment who comes to mind as your inspiration? You know, to have Maggie in that room is yeah. is really. I mean it when I said that is that is the reason I do this work. Yeah. You know, to carry on what she started. Um, but who inspires me? Through this process at the, at the uh, announcement, I got to meet Buffy St. Marie. Right. You know? Yeah. Queen. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And somebody who's doing such important work and has been doing that work in the face of, in the face of so much, in the face of silencing, you know, real blackouts that happened. Yeah. Uh, and she kept going and she kept sharing her stories. Uh, yeah. And, and, and blazing trails. And I got to meet her through this process. So for me, it's like, you know, the, the prize, the money, whatever. I got to meet somebody and have a, int we, we, t we chatted for like 20 minutes. It was cool. <laughs> uh, we got to have an intimate connection. Um, and that was really special. And she's somebody that has always been unabashedly herself. Oh, yeah. And, and never scared to tell tough truths. Yeah. You know, she was talking about genocide in the 60s. Mm -hmm. We're just getting there. Yeah. Touch with, you know, do the soft approach with cultural genocide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she's been having this conversation for decades. So yeah. for me, that's what inspires me. People that go out in front and have tough conversations yeah. and push things forward. I have no doubt she's already heard the news. And I'm sure. Hi. She's. Uh, yeah, you'll hear from her. <laughs> I, I hope so. I, I'm sure you'll hear from her. Record number one, Polaris Music Prize win number one. Let's let's make it two for two. What do you say? <laughs> let's, let's, That's a lot of pressure. All right. Let's uh, let's celebrate tonight, and then tomorrow I'll start. Uh, that sounds building good. number two. That sounds good. A lot okay. of celebrating to do, my friend. Absolutely. Congratulations. Hey, thanks. All, All right. Best. See you soon. Man, oh man. Man. You probably got some people you want to go hug I and think, talk to. Yeah, and I think it's about time. So we'll turn you loose, man. Go find oh, your people. Okay. Oh, wait, what am I saying here? Bye, everybody. Jeremy <laughs> Dutcher, winner of the 2018 Polaris Music Prize. I'm Rich Turfry. Thanks for watching. This is an amazing uh, talent here. Can't wait to hear what happens next. Polaris 2018, we'll see you next year, 2019. What kind of surprises we have in store? Well, we'll find out in a year's time. See you later. Aho.